Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Right, we're in my crayfish hotspot. And it's about time we caught a few and we cooked a few. So, we're here emptying the traps. Here is trap number one. Let's see if there's anything in there. Yeah, baby. That's the sound we want to hear. Free food. Get off, there's always one. Well, we ain't gonna break no records, but it's a feed, it's free food. We're doing good for the environment and they taste amazing. Right, back to the kitchen. These have got a date with a hot pot. Alrighty then, so for our crayfish, I'm thinking a crayfish boil. Seems the way forward, sounds absolutely amazing. Now, to all my friends over the pond, you gotta remember I'm from the UK, I'm an Englishman, I'm not from the South. So I hope this looks pretty much like crayfish or a crawfish boil ingredients. We got our smoked sausage, our onions, our lemons, garlic, potatoes, our sweet corn. I'm using Old Bay. I know there's quite a few out there and obviously some decent hot sauce. Now, like with any recipe, there are tons of variations. People put other things in celery. They will put in mushrooms, all kinds of things. But I've done a bit of research and I'm sticking to this. Looks quite authentic to me, my friends. Let's do it. So, a bit of hand out action. There's my crayfish. They've been purged. I've swilled them out several times. Let's give them another shower. There's one stuck in a fight down there. Like you've seen earlier, there is a couple of absolute beauties, like that one there. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, let's get the ingredients in the pot and start building the base for this crayfish boil. As you can see then, I've got one big ass pot. It's about half full of water. I think there's five liters in there. First thing I am going to do is get some lemon in there. So two lemons, squeeze the juice in and put the halves in. Just like that. Next in then, my onions, which I've halved. Some people slice them some people in half they go in then a couple of cloves of garlic which i'm just going to split down the middle we get them in then we add some salt and then our seasoning of choice like i said old bay What's we got? I don't know, about three ounces. To that, I am going to add two bay leaves. Now I will put a list of the ingredients down in the description, but there are absolutely tons out there. So what I'm gonna do is bring this up to the boil and then let it simmer for 10 minutes. Let that seasoning work its magic. That's been doing its thing for 10 minutes and it smells absolutely out of this world in here. My daughter's just come in and she's just said, Dad, that smells amazing. Right, next we are gonna put our potatoes in. 10 minutes just to get those starting. Then we can add our corn into the mix. So just to reiterate then, we got our water, we filled it about five litres, we put in our two 
uh, lemons squeezed in with the lemons then we put in our onions our garlic cloves our bay leaves and our seasoning of choice brought it up to the boil simmered for 10 minutes then added our potatoes let them gently simmer for 10 minutes next we are going to add in our corn on the cob and give that 10 minutes then what I will do then in about five minutes time because this smoked sausage is cooked I will slice it quite big and put that in and give it a few minutes to warm through then we add the craze baby so the smoked sausage decent bite-sized chunks I mean this is shaping up to be monumental I'm not gonna lie absolutely fantastic is it Cajun is it Creole either way it's a winner baby right another five minutes and the crayfish are gonna have a nice warm bath now I know some people add the hot sauce into the boil and I quite like the idea of that obviously you eat it with plenty of hot sauce but I'm gonna get some in there because I loves it give it a shifty I'm gonna bring it right up now to a rolling boil and tip them in right then the moment of truth I have been continually swilling my crayfish in clean water we're up to a nice rolling boil lid off chuck them in lid back on want to cook those for about three to five minutes and then shut the heat off okay so I've shut the heat off I just want to show you how these are looking they are absolutely gorgeous where's that big fella come on where is he there he is just look at that hey an artist couldn't paint that how wonderful right heat off I'm just gonna let those steep now for about 10 or 15 minutes I can't wait for this so these beauties have been steeping now for a good 20 minutes and I've tried one and they are absolutely amazing just look at it it never ceases to amaze me every time I cook one how beautiful that is right got to drain this liquor and get stuck into them plenty of hot sauce I so wish we had some newspaper right now then I could do this the traditional southern way by just putting some newspaper down taking it to the table and then gently scattering this beautiful beautiful crayfish boil for everybody to dig into look at that I've got to get in there I'm gonna have a bit of potato first mm. a bit of sausage mm. oh man a bit of crayfish that's what it's all about at the end of the day not the best at peeling these I won't lie Don't mind if I do. Come on. Come on. My friends in the south, you're mostly going, what are you doing, dude? Just look at that. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, man. 
Okay then my dear friends, you must excuse the presentation. This belongs outside with a load of friends, a table, newspaper spread out. This spread out all over the newspaper. Loads of bowls to put all your bits in, ice cold beers and you all tuck in. But we're here in the UK and that's as good as it gets. But what a fantastic dish that is. Absolutely brilliant. And if you've liked what you've seen here today on the Scott Reed Project, please click subscribe when my face comes up in a moment here. I release a video every week. I've got a vast back catalogue, which a lot of you haven't even tapped into. Check it out. Also, check me out on my social media, Facebook, Scott Reed and the Scott Reed Project, and on my Twitter, at the Scott Reed Project. And I think we might have a bit of funky sauce on the lens. Hey-ho, until next time, my friends, you know... I can't leave this sitting around. It would be rude not to. Take care. All the best. Bye-bye.